Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and today, Christmas is officially over. Like, last week, there were still the small dregs of people who hadn't yet gone back to work. But this morning, Monday the 8th of January 2018, everybody is back at work. As evidenced by the fact that I have arrived to work... 20 minutes later than usual, even though I set off at the normal time. One thing is, it's just clearly people who want to make sure their kids are on time for school, and they want to be on time themselves. If we give it two or three weeks, like, this will all settle down, and people will be like, do you know what, beggar it. They might even be sending them to school without a shoe. They don't care, turning up still eating cornflakes out of the bowl on the lap. These are things that we all know happen. Um, but today... I knew it was going to be bad. I knew it was going to be bad as soon as I got to the bottom of the one-way system near me. And I was trying to turn out into the main road. And nobody was letting me on. And I've been alright these last few days because we've had temporary traffic lights there. But th those folk, they must have known. They must have known that everyone would be back at work today because they're gone. They're gone and I'm having to struggle to just find one little gap just to get onto the main road. And then you've got the other problem that I have to travel to work on like the main road to Manchester from Macclesfield where about 50,000 other people are going. And so you're just in queues the entire way. And yes, I've discussed this in queues. I've discussed this in traffic. I've, I've gone into this in depth now. I think that I might have only been driving since September, but I've definitely developed some of that inbuilt road rage that I think is definitely there for every single British person out there. Now, it doesn't change anything for me because... I still like to think I drive quite sensibly. I still like to believe, well, I know, I drive like a grandfather. But sometimes, like, I'll be behind people who themselves are grandfathers, who themselves are going quite slow. And I just think, how the heck? How the, I, I'm, like, I'm there, I'm like, I know I go slow, but this, this is something else. And it is incredible, really, the amount of strange things that you see in the morning as people are trying to get to work on time. I have seen people putting mascara on whilst they're driving. I've seen people, like I've mentioned before, eating cereal. Some people have had like proper knife and fork type deals on a plate in their lap as they're driving along. I've even seen someone drive before with a dog in their lap. I'm not quite sure what that one was. If they were eating it, I'm very sorry for that dog because it was quite raw. It just gets to me when it usually takes me 20 minutes and 40 minutes later I'm only just arriving. Usually I can get to work in a certain amount of songs and I'll count it by the songs I've got left on my CD. But this today it was all blown out of the water. In fact at the one point I was just skipping them because I was just like well we're, we're here. We're here. We may as well only listen to our favourite ones because Lord knows I have seen some traffic this morning. Lord knows I have had to work on the creeping and the crawling and the first gear, making sure to touch that accelerator because the Fonz doesn't necessarily care for, you know, he, he doesn't just go off his clutch anymore, you know. And yes, the name of the car is the Fonz. I'm sorry, I did not tell you this. Hello. Say hello. I didn't necessarily want to talk about that this morning. In fact, I don't actually know what I wanted to talk about. I just thought, I said that I wanted to continue these chatty videos. And this was just stuck in my head and I thought, well, there's no one else here to rant at, so I'll come and rant at you. Shall we make it about anything else we want to do today? Well, yesterday I went through my wardrobe and basically I have stripped that wardrobe of a lot of stuff. I have a bin liner full of clothes that I'm putting into rags and just one little supermarket bag that will do for here. And three of the items aren't even mine because I like to wear my clothes until they are ragged, until they are completely perishing. It's the same for a lot of men who donate things to the charity shop. Basically, men, and yes, I'm talking about this widely, I'm making a stereotype, get over it, usually wear their clothes until they're so raggy and perish that there's nothing you can do with them. Apart from put them in rags, we'll still get the money for them, but there you go. Hey, even put in the t-shirt that I was wearing when I woke up this morning because I've had it for four and a half years and I, there's just no denying the giant holes in it anymore. Like, yesterday it was cold and I felt the cold. 
because there are plenty of holes in this t-shirt. So, donated in the rags. I also don't know what my hair is doing this morning. It's been quite nice for me to look at in this flaming camera and see this one little bit here. What's it doing? I feel like one of those weirdos out of Charlie's Angels. You know, the film with Drew Barrymore. That weird skinny guy. Hmm. Apart from the fact that there's no weird skinny stuff, it's just a bad hair day. Yesterday, I awoke with the plan of reading, and I didn't do that. I watched a lot of videos. I subscribe to a lot of people on YouTube now, and even though there are some people there that I feel like, I, well, I know I've not watched in months, some years, some that I'm just not that interested in anymore, some people have stopped themselves, so I've unsubscribed from those people, and yet still, there was a wealth of videos to watch, and so my Sunday was taken up doing that. Which I didn't mind at all, really, because I quite enjoy watching YouTube videos, interacting. Um, sometimes I don't. Sometimes, if you want to know what videos I'm watching, just go to the liked page on my channel, wherever that is. I don't know how you do these things. But you'll see all the videos I'm liking. This video is not really going anywhere. We've talked about traffic. We've talked about not reading. We've talked about... I can't remember what the third thing was, but we talked about something else. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it there, really. Um, there's not going to be anything you want to discuss in here. There's not really going to be anything you care about. You're not really... You probably just sat there like, Charlie, we can tell that you only just woke up an hour ago. We can tell that you are completely delirious and we think you should go and get a cup of coffee. And don't worry, I intend to do that. Was there something else I wanted to say? Nah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And... I hope none of you got stuck in as much traffic as I did. Although, as I mentioned, or I might not have mentioned, I am on the main road to Manchester, so a lot of people going to work. Although some of you, some of you in London, some of you got to go down into that London and you're going to get stuck in more traffic than I do. You're all going to have to leave a lot earlier than I do just to get to work on time. I don't know how people do it. Do you know, there was a story I read a few years ago that was about traffic. And everybody was gridlocked their entire lives. And I can see that happening. It's not a dystopian. It's just the actual future. There are going to be babies born in cars. They'll wake up named Volvo. They'll wake up named Volvo. They'll be born named Volvo. Well, I don't know anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, that is all.